It was a very sad morning here in the WPTF News Center as we got word that one of those killed in that shooting at the newspaper in Annapolis, Maryland yesterday was former WPTF reporter Rob Hyacin. It's the end of the work week for WPTF newscasters Tony Rigsby and Mike Raley. But on this Friday, an old friend is heavy on their minds. And our overnight producer told me, did you know this guy Hyacin who was killed in Maryland? And I went, Rob Hyacin? A gunman opened fire at the Capitol Gazette newsroom in Maryland, killing five people. One of those victims, 59-year-old Rob Hyacin, a former anchor and reporter for WPTF News in Raleigh back in 1984. But the first thing you knew about Rob was he was a very imposing guy, uh, well over six feet, uh, striking blonde features, uh, and a ready smile all the time. So he was one of those people you just liked immediately. His former co-workers tell us he met his wife Maria here in Raleigh. They called it one of the greatest newsroom romances of all time. He got here and met a young girl named Maria Mills, who was one of our anchors for our FM station WQDR at that time. And they hit it off, they went to a movie together, and they were virtually inseparable after that, and they were married less than a year later. I do remember that Rob was a really good writer. The two reporters never thought they'd hear Hyacinth's name again on their newscast, not in the form of a tribute. This business is, is tough in a lot of different ways, uh, but having someone who has probably put his life on the line at some point as a reporter over the years to lose his life uh, at the top of his game in a newsroom in an idyllic place like Annapolis, Maryland is, is hard to grasp. In Raleigh, Timothy Jones, Jr., Spectrum News.